y'all it's megan what's happening it is mason and we are back with another video and we're super excited about this video because we have partnered with mapiful so that we can tell you guys our love story yes and a very very interesting love story but before we get into that we want to talk a little bit about mapiful who's been kind enough to send us this poster as you guys can see um, it says Atlanta where our love story began and it shows the exact coordinates of where we had our very first day, remember? Yes! We love Mapiful because they allow you to customize all of your posters from the colors down to the framing. We decided to go with the classic black of wood frame, of course. Um, it matches the decor in our home and we know that we'll be able to take it with us if we just ever decide to move. Absolutely. That's I guess that's the best thing. So we have some more ordering to do. We need a Detroit one, of course, and LA, of course. And Birmingham. Oh, uh, I guess we can't get Birmingham. <laughs> I was just kidding. But yeah, so we, we super duper 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 love, love, love our Mapiful print and we can't wait to hang it in our house. So thank you so, so much Mapiful. We appreciate it. And uh, yeah, we look forward to purchasing more things from you. So make sure you guys check the link in our bio. When you go to the Mapiful website, you'll see that you can choose from text art print photos or you can choose from the street map option. Mm -hmm. They also have the Zodiac and star map. Yes, all super cool. So make sure you guys check that out. It's in the description below. Yes, so let's jump into how Atlanta became where our love story began. Well, here's a little story all about how, no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. So basically, Megan chose me, I said okay, and then that's the end of the story. That's the total opposite of how this thing went, okay? So most of you guys know that we met online, right? Old school. I think it was um, like five years ago. I don't know. We'll say five, six years ago. Yes. Um, Mace was all up in your girl's DM. Okay, all right. So we met on a popular dating website. Let's say, let's go ahead before this even go left. <laughs> we met on a, on a popular dating site. And maybe I did just so happen to double tap and jump in your DM. So I sent Megan a couple messages, but let me tell y'all. So it's, it's several strikes in this story. The first strike is Megan took forever to respond back to my messages. Y'all, my DMs were popping back then. Okay. So I would read her message or messages put her on the list of responding back at a later time. You know, you know what? So I later on figured out it was because she was flying and she didn't have no service in <laughs> right. the air. So it was. <laughs> That's the real reason. Why she front. So anyway, so finally she responds back. We go back and forth. You know, I, I'm feeling her, you know, to be honest, I'm feeling her. But I kept getting hit up. Legit, my DMs were popping. I kept getting hit up by girls that I knew I weren't interested in. I wasn't interested in. So I was like, yo, Listen, I'm hopping off of this app. If you want to talk to me anymore, here's my math. Hit me up, right? Right. And then what happened? So we communicated on the app for a while. Then we started texting for like two or three months. What? Oh, you just going to breeze by how you had me verify who I was? Yes. Okay, so when she gave me the phone number, I was like, okay, write an M on a sheet of paper hold a spoon and take a picture of yourself so i know that you are who you say you are yeah and i actually did it like a crazy person it's crazy people out here you better trust but verify very true so i i passed obviously the catfish verification test yes um so then yeah we talked for two three months through text and then we decided finally you know what it's time to meet up so we meet up or Cinco de Mayo. To, yeah, we planned to meet up Cinco de Mayo. I think you picked the place because I had never heard of it. I did. Um, Tijuana Garage and Little Five. So that's exactly where this is, the coordinates uh, for Tijuana Garage. And, um, you know, I get there, you know, I'm checking myself over, making sure I'm looking fly and all of that, right? Guess who's coming around the corner? On the phone. This one. And... You would have thought that when she saw me, she would have ended her phone call, right? Mmm. Here's the strike two. Uh, my girl continued to talk on the phone, hit me with the... Oh, the wait a minute. 
with the wait a minute. Okay. Okay. So I'm waiting a minute and realize this girl not hanging up. Megan literally talked on the phone up until we got to the table. It was a very important conversation in my defense, but I will say I did notice her because she had on a pink button down with blue shorts um, and I think some cognac colored loafers perhaps. Yay, okay. And I had on an orange and ivory leopard print dress from H&M, maxi dress. Did you? I did. I don't remember that. Oh. No, I don't remember the dress. I remember you, but not the dress. Anyway, so she finally gets off the phone, right? So we were talking, good conversation. Mm -hmm. um, the food was decent. The food was good. Um, she ordered a salad. I, I don't did. know what her expectation was with that. I but. was on a little health kick at the time, uh, which I need to get back on. But listen, <laughs> your girl right here was not shy at all. My girl, wish you had some fajitas or I something. I think I had some fajitas, John. Listen, uh, chips and salt. My girl wasn't even trying to be cute. She was going in. She yes. was like, listen, this is who I am. Yes. Take me as I am. So, uh, we enjoyed we enjoyed lunch or whatnot, and uh, then what happened, man? I think you walked me to my car, and you were like so enthralled with me okay. um, that you wanted the date to continue, right? So she was like, "Do you want to go get some frozen yogurt?" So I knew then she had a sweet tooth, and I was like, "Okay, cool. You know, we'll drive separate cars because you know we still don't know each other." Okay. For real. Um, so we go and get yogurt. We still had a good conversation, and you were like, oh, I'm going to a friend's house tonight. And I was like, okay, yeah. cool. And did um, I ask you what you were doing? I can't remember. Strike three. Uh, I did, and she she made it seem like she really had nothing going on. Like, oh, yeah, no, I'll probably just be at the house. And what I tell you, I, I asked you, I said, you have, did you have a good, did you have a good did time? Did you have a good time or something? Yeah, and, and I then, said I did. And then I said, hit me later, right? Right. And would you tell me? Cool. Okay. I'll hit you later. Okay. So I ended up going out with my then ex. Oh. Who was also my roommate at the time. Oh, miss, I ain't got nothing going on. I'm going to be at the house. You? But you know how I go. You get to the house and be like, man, you ain't yet. Be like, man, I can go for a little taco or something or whatever. So we just went and grabbed something to eat. It wasn't nothing like that. It was super chill. You know, a girl got to eat. Okay, that was lunch. Where is dinner? Of course. Okay. So that was actually strike four uh, uh -huh. when, when I found out later on that your homegirl just told a whole story. I I believe you had that situation planned out already. No. And I believe it was a date. No. At this, you know what? I don't even know if y'all was just roommates and exes. Y'all might have still been together now that I think about it. Well, let's not think about it. Let's stay focused. Oh, okay. We stay focused. We okay. stay focused. Yeah. So <laughs> after that, I feel like we just we kept talking right like we kept in touch we did and eventually we became girlfriends like was it some months later it was definitely some months it was some months i asked you i think that was oh that was july 31st because we went to... I asked you? oh that definitely wasn't no months then that was the next month Oh, that was. It was like oh, no, two, two months. months. I'm sorry. Two I'm months. Sorry. I'm thinking single to my own So, yes, yes, we weren't typical lesbians. We waited two whole months. Two whole months. And we were going to the uh, concert. Flow or tree. Flow or tree concert. And you said, will you say yes? Like you had wrote it out with a Pandora bracelet. See, if you were so cute. Let me tell you, if you're going to tell it, just tell it right. I, I was kind enough to buy us tickets. Um, to the concert, you know what I'm saying? I thought it'd be a nice little date, little situation. Little you know romantic thing. Bought her a Pandora bracelet. And shout out to my big sister for um, coming up with the, the little <laughs> the, the pickup line. Anyway, pick up line. It said something. Uh, with with you, I'm at my best, or something like that. Yes. All you gotta do is say yes, or something like yes. that. Which is, a, uh, if you don't know, that's one of the lyrics. It's a line from one of the floor tree songs. Yes. So it was, so it was kind of cheesy. And what you said though, I was like, yes, of, of course. course. It was the cutest thing. So we go eat, we go to the concert, and then Mason and I have literally been together ever since. Like really? we have not broken up, we have not taken a break. Um, have we had disagreements? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, have we had hard times? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, has it been peaks and valleys? Absolutely. Absolutely. But here we are. Still rocking. Here we rocking are. with each other. And the, listen, we had somebody say like, 
Um, why don't y'all ever tell us what what they say? Why don't y'all ever tell the us the the S H I T y'all go through? And li seriously, like she said, we've never broken up. Like neither one of us have ever cheated on each other. Um, like we've never had like ex ex drama or any anything like that. Never had any issues with our family. Like nothing. Like so, you know, I'm grateful. And, and happy to say that we have seriously, like she said, been rocking every day since that first day. Yeah, I mean, we can tell y'all about some some petty arguments. We can For tell sure. you about um, oh, but wait, the time on. we have gone off on each other. Absolutely. I ain't never went off on you. I always talk to you so nice and sweet. Just like Child. That. I know y'all believe that. Now that could be another video. Inside, okay. y'all believe that, don't y'all? But are we gonna mention how you called me your ex's name? Okay, that and I think that this is a okay. good place. Oh, uh, how we almost did come to be. Matter of fact, that wasn't that Flower Tree concert was like down the line. Our our second our second date was the picnic, where she called me her ex's name. Oh, yeah. Oh. So yeah. We almost didn't come to be, but I'm so happy that we did. Mm, in spite of. In, in spite of. So we would like to take this time <laughs> to not only thank Atlanta for bringing us together, Absolutely. where we our love story started, where we got married, yes. um, where our daughter was conceived and born, yes. um, to where we have made home for now at least. Um, and we want to again just thank Mapleful. Thank for you. reminding us of how special Atlanta is Absolutely. and always will be to us. Absolutely. So thank you guys, as always, for rocking with us. Don't forget to check out the Map of Full link down in the description box below. And we will catch you on the next video. Bye. Okay. I didn't I didn't need your help. Oh okay. Alright. Bye y'all.